What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video centered around fabricated super long skate trick names used purely to further terrible jokes with punchlines that might not be worth the wait given the amount of setup required for relatively underwhelming payoffs. This is what your teeth look like before the teeth whitening treatment we're advertising and this is what they look like after. Wow, it even brightened his skin. Meek Mill offered his son $1,000 to eat crickets. Oh man, that sh was from the candy store complex, not this. <laughs> Would you say the issue is uh, not that complex? Uh, okay, I'll see myself out. At FC Barcelona, hey, today is my birthday. Can I get a reply, please? Wait, so you were born twice in the same week, I see. And they quote tweeted the same account days earlier doing the same f***ing thing. And FC Barcelona had replied to that one too. How do these people like attention so much that uh, the account, the official account, mind you, of one of the largest sports clubs in the world has to call you out for that? But wait, the story gets better. That guy then showed off the fact that FC Barcelona had called him out for uh, scamming the- I don't f***ing know, for lying about it being his birthday, and he got 13,000 likes on it! He got exactly the recognition and attention he wanted! Why am I yelling about this? Dude was living it up on the train this morning. It's an old man with a laptop. Oh, let's see what that is. Oh, <laughs> the lyrics to All Star. Classic. Literally classic, because it happened to this dude two years earlier. But unfortunately to the guy who it did actually happen to, this man who stole it got 348,000 likes. And if we dig up your original tweet from two years ago, you got less than 200,000 likes. So legally speaking, this man now owns your tweet. I transformed my car from dull to radiant with these amazing light strips. We have before and after. Wow. Magenta. Futuristic. A lot of before and after pictures in this video. Anyhow, bruh, that's not even the same car. Yet yeah, not only is it not the same car, but it's also a f***ing illustration. I mean, it's a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. That, that That's just how amazing the light strips are, guys. Hey, so I've been sub to you for my whole treatment of my cancer, and I watched your vids to keep me distracted. All I want is pews to notice me. Aw. Well... It makes me sad, not because this kid has cancer, but because I found this post in the subreddit r slash quit your bullshit, which means someone's lying about having cancer. Hey, you lying sack of shit. A reverse image search will show that this image with this near exact description was on r slash why you be in late October last year from the bottom of my heart. Fuck, and I cannot stress this enough. You. Sky Sports has told staff, including its star pundits, that they should take the train instead of flying if they're traveling in Britain as part of its campaign to become net zero carbon by 2030. They haven't because we already do take the train and haven't traveled any other way for 10 years. Now, again, this is Gary Neville. That's right, GNEV2 saying this. Now, if you're like me and 55% of my audience and are from the United States, you might have no f***ing clue who Gary Neville is. So, I googled him. Turns out he is, in fact, a uh, Sky Sports uh, star pundit, as they say, and really likes this one particular emoji. I don't know why. On to the next one. Lola gave birth to six puppies. Aww. No, I'm not saying about the, the picture. That's just the name of the subreddit. It's Lulu, you uncultured swine, not Lola. If you're going to take the credit of someone else's Instagram dog, at least get the name right. At Lulu Mini Dashend. Dogson. I know how to pronounce that. Why did I say it that way? I'm going to leave that in. She's a relatively famous dog in the Netherlands. Now, aside from my horrific pronunciation and the fact that, uh, that this man tried to steal credit for someone else's dog, it makes me, you know, feel weirdly good that there are regionally famous dogs. I like that. A new TikTok challenge involves teens recording themselves sliding a penny behind a phone charger that is partially plugged into an electrical outlet. Oh, and a picture. How scarring, except this is not a new viral challenge. This is something like two kids in Massachusetts did and now every local news site is trying to make it seem like it's some big thing. Yeah, but if your local CNBS 69 station didn't report on the dangerous trends of that new clock-based social media app that the kids are all using, what else would Aunt Karen have to be mad about? Having some fun with a cigarette and a macro lens. That's a, a neat picture. It was posted to a subreddit called r slash cigarettes, which I just found out exists. But if we look at the comments, blasphemy claims one. 
This is clearly a repost, as I, an avid smoker, took this photo a while ago. Evidence? This post. Thank you and subscribe. But OP responds, you stupid f***ing idiot. You absolute buffoon. I can't believe you really fell for it. Fell right into my f***ing trap that I've expertly laid out for you. Now I will utter the words that will destroy every single atom in your body simultaneously out of embarrassment. Your post is a repost. Boom, and he is evidence! My god, look at this! But wait, uh, hold on just a second. That's not the same username. The link provided as switcheroo proof of repost was by a guy, Vic or something, not this Ram Waifu dude who originally said that guy reposted it. The guy going, ah, you've fallen for one of the classic blunders isn't actually saying he was the OP. He was just saying that the other guy also reposted it. Also as in, as well, as in two with two O's. This guy waifu something reposted an image that our boy Pasta ZD claims to have posted originally, but waifu copy pastas this man into a corner by claiming that his post was a repost, which it seems is correct, given that the link waifu provides as proof was posted in April, while the big ZD boy claiming it to be his own wouldn't post this picture until July of the same year. As the commenters summarize, who called out who? Well, yes, now I know that was a lot, the original post had redacted names, but the posts I brought in from external research didn't have redacted names. Then I referenced those non-redacted names to clarify the situation. That was a lot, but uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Stick around. Very poor service. One star. I asked almost 10 times to the seller to teach me how to run it, but seller only seen my comment and no reply to me. Yeah, he asked me to teach how to know his neighbor's password. This is absurd. One star. This item was shipped in a plastic bag, not half inch larger than the tights themselves. Nothing protecting the hose when packaging was opened at the top, it snagged the hose. When contact was made, the seller said it was not her fault. Awful packaging, not one indication to open with care is even worse customer service. Yeah, you wrote to us very aggressively, mind you, and said you ripped the item when opening the packaging with a letter opener. We don't have control on how you choose to open your packages. Hopefully you're a little more careful in the future. This item was gift wrapped in tissue paper, taped shut, and mailed in a plastic mailing bag. Very standard to all packages I send or have ever received. I mean, guy, come on. You can't fucking. You can't fucking Casey Neistat mail time that shit and not expect there to be some collateral damage. Very mature that you posted about our interaction on Reddit. That community is toxic and full of women who don't have the self-discipline to run their own business, so they try to tear down others to feel better about their ball and chain office jobs. But I got lots of positive messages, so it seems like there's some actual smart ladies in that community. Thanks for the new business. How did you get new business if I didn't link your store? The Reddit post was a story. I didn't even include screen caps that would have shown your name. Hey, the mark of a good MLM employee, if they are to be called that, is the absolute ability to convince themselves of non-existent success. Sad? Sure, but certainly not out of character. One star. Burritos reminded me of Taco Bell in USA. Completely plastered in sauce. Self-service or no service. Ridiculous high price for cafeteria food. Beer was the best though. Their own McKellar canned beer. Therefore, one star. Otherwise... No star to them. Ooh, response from the owner. Yeah, we can't take this review seriously since we don't serve burritos. Now, to add on to the bullshit that is being quitted in this particular post, McKellar is actually spelled with two Ks, and most rating services don't let you put no stars, so one star would have been anyway. Thought you would guys appreciate this oil painting I made. I had a slight stroke reading that, but anyhow, super cool painting. Except don't believe OP, they're lying. It was made by you slash SketchUp. What are you even saying, bro? I'm getting so many upvotes. I'm obviously right here. I love that. I love this whole satire bit. You can't take him seriously. I'm sorry. Stop saying he's dumb or that he used a dumb argument. It's a joke. It's it's an obvious it's an obvious troll. How the fuck am I getting so upset about Reddit posts all of a sudden? Slipknot's V-Man went into mad panic after his identity was discovered. Now, actually, I didn't. I had a wonderful day. Well, Loudwire. At least you didn't add him. According to at Billie Eilish's older brother at Phineas, we can expect a new album soon. Yeah, I said we're working on album two. You absolutely should not expect it soon. Oh, Stylecaster, you've fallen for one of the classic blunders. 
if you're gonna lie about somebody, don't at them for God's sake. Oh, well, would you look at that? Look at the time, past 10 minutes, finally. I can speak freely without being accused of stalling just to hit that sweet 10 minute mark. Well, I mean, there was the whole cigarette bit and me just kind of chuckling random times that could be considered stalling by some people who should probably stick to Reddit if they didn't care about my commentary. But anyhow, you guys might have noticed my voice sounding a bit off and I apologize for that. I'm unfortunately a bit under the weather, a bit sick. And I don't mean sick as in like cool or dope. I mean sick as in ill. And I don't mean ill as in cool or dope, but actually how sick would it be if we used other synonyms of sick to mean dope and cool? Like, let's say your boy just hit a nasty 720 fakey train alley, big spin, quarter torque, rocket air, dark slide, and in absolute disbelief, you proclaim, damn bro, that, that was Quamish. Dude, that was so unsound. Oh my God, that was indisposed, bro. Thank you.